This morning, a formal ceremony marking the ascension of a new government in Israel was held in Jerusalem, but during the Knesset vote to accept the coalition last night, things didn't go as smoothly. Following the final approval of Netanyahu's government by the Knesset Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, a ceremony took place in the presidential residence in Jerusalem, inaugurating the 32nd government of Israel. Incoming Premier Netanyahu and outgoing Prime Minister Olmert sat with President Shimon Peres and Knesset Chairman Rivlin, and in a festive atmosphere, marked the passing of the baton. <laughs> We must take care of urgent matters in every essential field of our life, education, war and crime, social issues, but first and foremost the economy and security. We are confronting daily issues and national distress. We will have to roll up our sleeves and begin to work the moment we leave this hall. I hereby greet both of you, Prime Ministers, the elected Prime Minister and the outgoing Prime Minister. The three of us hold the title of former Prime Minister, and one of you is beginning his second term. This is an honor with great weight. The accepting of the leadership of the state is known to us. It includes excitement and the awe of the greatness of the challenge. The night before, events were less ceremonial as Netanyahu's speech was interrupted repeatedly and the new opposition leader Livni began working against the government with an uncompromising speech against Netanyahu's new cabinet. You threw on us this bloated government with ministers for nothing, deputy ministers with no point, and with many ridiculous titles. The Knesset vote was attended by numerous millionaires who have long supported Netanyahu's economic reforms, including Sheldon Edelson, renowned for his wealth and nationalist views. You are happy that Mr. Netanyahu achieved the goal of the Prime Minister sitting in, in this chair. You were in favor of Mr. Netanyahu, I assume. You don't see me crying, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> That's the alternative. What did you think about the last Prime Minister? And it's very interesting what the, what the President said, that this was a uh, the quintessential democratic way of, uh, of changing government. And it's, a, uh, it's uh, less violent, there's no violence, it's uh, orderly, it's uh, democratic. Back to the inauguration ceremony, photographers and cameramen had to struggle to find a good angle and wide enough lens to encompass the entire new government with 30 ministers.